going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So my dividend income for February was a really good month. Um, I'm still consistent to where um, I want to be at. I'm not at phase two. I'm going to kind of explain to you my phase two strategy with M1 Finance. But... You know, February was one of my weaker months, and I wanted to focus on that month to where I'm satisfied with my passive income that I earned. And it was a great month for M1 Finance. Again, dividend growth always wins. Some of these high yielders are paying decent, but just looking at my dividend growth stocks, they're going to be winning in the long run. So some of them I need to get to 100 plus shares. And that's going to be the key for having a, a very strong and successful dividend um, portfolio. You know, stocks like Starbucks, American Tower, Kroger, you know, those guys have consistently hiked their dividends. You know, these high yield, um, low dividend growth stocks are not the ultimate end game. It's really good for maybe two to three years to help turbocharge my dividend portfolio. But again, you know, the dividend growth stocks are the ones that I'm really focusing on. So I'm going to uh, explain to you phase two of my dividend portfolio and I'm experimenting with it and uh, why, you know, I am starting to experiment it because, you know, the, again, I want my dividend portfolio to be like a hamster on a hamster wheel, just keep on going and spinning and spinning and, and gearing in all cylinders. So, you know, there's a kind of a sweet spot with certain dividend stocks and high yield dividend stocks that I may load up on just to experiment with before phase two starts. Now, phase one, the completion of phase one is when I get to maybe 110,000 and I'm close to 100,000 with my dividend portfolio, but I'm not there yet. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my income. It was a really good month on E-Trade and M1 Finance. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out my dividend income right now. So first, I'm at $94,307.17 before the market even opened. So that's good. I'm almost at $100,000. dollars now, that's a great goal for a uh, dividend portfolio. I did load up on it last year, and it's really paying dividends. Actually, that was a bad joke, but doing very well. And I like the way things are looking right now, and especially with my passive income for the month of February, because that, that was one of my weaker months. And, and I have said even last year that I kind of need to focus on that month a little bit, and I'm going to show you why. So at the start of February, I made 1580 with American Tower. February 6, I made 6256 with QQQY, which has done very well buying dividend growth stocks, as well as CLNY, I made $359.22. PSLY I made 4039 with a stock split. I'm gonna a reverse stock split. I'm gonna have some decisions to make. Um is it worth the risk? I'm going to have to ask myself that if I, you know, get another 100 shares and think about it. NVDY 275.31, Citizens Financial Group 2546. Now, right here, 2546. Now, again, I'm going to explain to you kind of the sweet spot tomorrow with dividend stocks like this and One Oak. Um, I made 526, Agree Realty Corp 238, Hormel Foods 844. That needs to go up. Omega Health Investors 839, Ally Financial 1689, NNN Re 2373. That's still, I'm almost at $25, which is fantastic. Kinder Morgan 67 cents. I will be loading up on them. Premier, Premier Fina, Financial Corp 2692, One Main Holdings 4109, Starbucks 916, FSK KKR. It was like a little bit of a special. I'm pretty sure it was 248. And Runway Growth uh, Finance. Corp. I just bought them. I made a total of $13.36. So again, it's a new kid on the block, new business development company, and that was pretty nice. So my total income for M1 Finance was $932.59. So again, almost $1,000 a month in passive income 
which has reinvested into my dividend portfolio and has done wonders with my dividend portfolio. So this is looking really good. Now imagine if I get $100 quarterly with some of these um, high yield dividend stocks, which I move to another section and then they start buying um, Starbucks and Kroger and some of these other ones and T Row. I mean, that's something that I'm hoping in the next two to three years, I'm kind of giving you a prelude and I'm going to show you a little bit of statistics uh, for tomorrow as to what I plan on doing with phase two. So this was still quite impressive. And again, some of these dividend stocks um, I, I want to show you real quick such as Ally Financial Corp. I'm up actually 36.70%. So I bought the major dips and I'm really happy with the way things are going. Um, again, I have told you before, and I've told you for the past two to three years that I'm going after the financial sector and real estate sector because they have been struggling and um, I'm getting some pretty nice returns with them before they start catching up to the S&P 500 like they previously were. So very happy with the way things are going. I'll show you another dividend uh, stock that has done very well for me. Another one, so Ally Citizens Financial Group. So, you know, I'm up 14.63%, which is impressive. And I definitely got them when dips were there. So again, 60 shares. Imagine if I got to 100 shares with quarterly um, dividend income with a dividend stock like Citizens Financial Group, which has done financially uh, well. Revenue has done well in dividend growth. So I'll kind of explain to you the sweet spot with a lot of these dividend stocks tomorrow. So a total of $932.59. That was a good month for um, M1 Finance. Now, E-Trade was a little bit down this month. This was mostly monthly dividend stocks, but I'm still happy with what I'm seeing. And you're seeing the snowball effect kick in. So I'm going to jump to that. So here's my E-Trade dividend portfolio. So again, like what I was saying with February and April and May, this is just E-Trade. There's a lot of inconsistencies. March, you know, estimated as above 500, June, September, and December. So the inconsistencies I need to focus on so that I can have a consistent 500 plus in dividend income and kind of emphasize the sweet spot a little bit more. I'm going to show you an example with some of my dividend stocks that I have for the month of March and June, September, and December, which have distributed very good dividends. So, I'm, you know, going to try to implement the sweet spot with phase two of my M1 finance dividend portfolio, because imagine making an extra $500 with a few dividend stocks and reinvesting into the portfolio and throwing that extra $500 into something like Starbucks, just sitting on your butt doing nothing and letting your dividends do the work for you with the dividend snowball effect. So kind of, kind of picking apart and um, dissecting my dividend portfolio a little bit more. So I, again, I do think the sweet spot is very important because I mean, looking at Citizens Financial Group 2546, now imagine if I had more shares and that's quarterly passive income. So and I'm not at 100 yet, but once I show you a certain sweet spot with dividend stocks, this is when really the snowball effect kicks in. So let me show you the dividend, um, my dividends for the month of February. And, and again, I'm not very satisfied with an estimated income just ranging a hundred some dollars. Now I did receive some stuff today and I'll show you how much I made this month. And see, I really need to work on this month because look at, this is not a lot that I made in the month of February on um, E-Trade. So Gladstone Investment Corp, I made $17.59. Horizon Technology Finance Corp, I made $15.16. Main Street Capital, I made $30.40. Realty Income, $40.73. EPR Properties, $36.41. And I also made 
1804 with KLIP and gain 1768. So I made a total of $176.01. So again, that I'm not very satisfied with that. So again, you know, I made 932.59 on um, M1 Finance. So here's the thing. I, all right, 176.01. Okay, on E Trade and 932.59. That was a good month, okay, $1,108.06. But, you know, making this amount with CONY, TSLY, and NVDY, long-term-wise, this is not very reliable. And I'd rather see a lot more consistency with a lot of my dividend growth stocks and consistent dividend growth stocks. I mean, Starbucks are making $9.16. You know, if I had a lot more shares, I would be rolling and I wouldn't have to rely on CONY, TSLY, and NVDY. So you're going to be seeing a shift in my future videos with the dividend growth stocks winning. And that's the goal with the dividendo manifestos. The dividend growth is going to win in the long run. So you got the tortoise and the hare, the high yield short, um, the high yield slow dividend growth stocks are winning big time. And then the dividend growth stocks that are you know, lower yield are going to win in the long run. So hopefully five years that I'm just going to make an estimate for maybe two to five years, okay? Phase three will be where the dividend growth stocks completely overpower the high yield dividend stocks. And that's going to happen. I'm going to make sure that happens because... I want consistency, I want raises, and I want to make, um, I'm, I'm just looking at these numbers, you know, OHI, I mean, you're, when's the last time they got a hike? You know, when's the last time, uh, you know, um, some of these uh, dividend stocks have, uh, some of them just haven't grown really, so, or growing fast enough compared to like Kroger, compared to Starbucks. Uh, I mean, you know, nine dollars and sixteen cents of Starbucks. What is that going to get me? That's that's unacceptable. So I need to go, you know, start kicking some butt with a lot of these ones. One Oak, you know, that's another one. With their recent acquisitions, again, they are a really good dividend growth stock. Hormel Foods, I mean, Ally, you know, these ones are, are really doing some damage. So Citizens Financial Group. So those ones really need to be a focus. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, why are you doing this? I'm going to show you why I'm doing kind of a uh, thing with a sweet spot. That way, some of these dividend stocks, the high yielders, once I get to the sweet spot with them, I'm not going to buy anymore for a long time and let them buy my dividend growth stock. So the way I can use the income and not really have to put as much in eventually and just reinvest the dividends, let these dividend growth stocks um, like explode exponentially because of the income of these high yielders buying them. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. I will have a video for you tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this. $1,108.06. And if you are new, again, my videos are free for you. I don't charge you anything. So just letting you know. And I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. And you guys have a... Great leap year day. Take care. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use this YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. This is strictly entertainment purposes only. If you're looking for financial advice, it is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor or somebody certified to give financial advice. Do not this, use this YouTube channel for any form of tax purposes only. It is best to seek uh, financial advice from somebody that is a tax advisor. So again, strictly entertainment purposes only for this YouTube channel. Investing is a big risk. You can gain money, you can lose money. So be aware of your decisions that you make and make sure you do your due diligence. You can lose money and gain money. Investing in the stock market, ETFs, Bitcoin, whatever you invest in, you can lose money. So there is a risk. My YouTube channel, I'm very transparent with my buys 
I show you my dividend investing journey and journey to making money while I sleep. You take care and have a great um, Thursday and I will have a video for you Friday and I'm very excited to kind of reveal to you part of phase two. So take care and have a good one.